G'day guys, me again. Uh, just going to talk to you a little bit about these new cranker crabs. Um, I've been using them a, a little bit now and so far it's been pretty good. I'm happy with them. But uh, one thing I've noticed is that uh, the the little trebles that they come with, uh, they're perfect for your small fish and that, but for your bigger things that I've been trying to target on them, they seem a little bit light on. So I've been swapping over to um, singles these decoy plug and singles and pretty happy with them now I've got these fellas on I uh, got asked by a couple of fellas how I do it so I figured yeah I'll make a video for you and show you how I do it alrighty let's get to it back in a sec okay so you're gonna need some scissors some thread your bobbin thing this help a hell of a lot some foam, so you can cut them out, and some hooks, decoys, best you can get. Alright, gonna grab out one of these. Ideally, you want one size down from this. I find um, number two is as big as you want to go, it's very heavy. But for them big fish, it's got the gape that you want. Ideally, yeah, one size smaller. I reckon that'll be spot on. Alright. I'm going to get your thread. Lay them on there. A couple of wraps around. And then back on itself. Work your way down. I like to squeeze the point of the hook when I'm doing this so I don't cut. Yeah, I've worked all the way down now to the end of there giving my shank a nice good coat of thread work my way back up pushing the line as I go back up Looking back to the front okay now I can cut off this tag end okay Cut him as close as you can. Alright. That part is done. You can leave that for now. Put him down. You want to get your foam. Cut off a nice decent strip. Strip of the foam. It's not too pretty, but it'll do. You're going to cut about just over an inch. I've already made a few of these, so I know how big they've got to be to float the things. Ideally, once you've done it, before you go and um, set the thing in, like once I've done it with tying, I like to set it in an epoxy UV set. But um, you want to test it to make sure it floats first. So. I know that's the right size. We're going to tape it down the end a bit on this end so I can tie it in nice and neat. Line him up against my hook so I can see how big he's got to be. Pinch him there. I'm going to line him out. I want my hook to Claw to come out to about here, so I can cut that down a bit. This is the tricky part of the whole thing, which is cutting your claw. Just gonna cut in on an angle. Go to the other side. Rough, she'll do. Give him a little bit of a taper. Nice and quick. Alright, I'm gonna take a nick out of here. You see where I'm doing that? 
just to give him a bit more of a claw like look. Doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you're waving around, the fish is still going to hit it. Make this one just below where I made the other nick. A little bit dodgy then. Alright. Close enough. The rest is going to happen when you tie it in. That's going to give it that buggy like, well, crabby like look. Alrighty. Get your hook. I'm going to start from the bottom first where the eye is. We're going to tie in our hook. You want your longer piece on the outside because that hook, I want that to sit on the inside of my, my crab. Tie just that end in. Alright, just so you can see. Get him on there. Push him up a bit. Just keep winding it on there to get a nice clean finish. All right. That should do. Now. Got him on there. What we're going to do is, I'm going to pull this claw back a bit like this, and then back on the shank again, work my way up to the next section. About there, midway, folding back over, even curl him in a bit so it follows the, the hook around, it gives him a more Claw like look. Come around. Start your wraps. Always I'm um, pulling back over because as you pull that way, this is going to run a red rotate that way, so you got to pull him back in. Alright, so that section done. Then we're going to pull him back again. Back on the shank. Ooh, it's getting tricky. I'm going to swap hands so I can do it better. Work my way back up the shank. Okay, no, not quite there yet, almost. Got to come up a bit further. Okay, couple of extra ones so she doesn't slip around. Right, now where that joint is. Curl him around a bit first so he sits right. Bet him on there nice and good. So now I've got the two sections going on. A bit like a crabby. This is over exaggerated, but this will work fine. Alright, now you've got him on there. Same again. Flick your claw up. Back on the shank. And can finish him off with a whip finish. Just hold that out. Oops. 
Two to that. One more to be safe. Alrighty. And that is your claw attached to your decoy single, plug and single, ready for any cod or any jack or any big ass grunter, anything that's going to crush a crab to a million pieces is going to get screwed by that hook. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. My vids will get better. And I'll show you more action. Next I'll probably show you if I get to it. I might even put a little bit of tie in a little bit of marabou or rabbit's fur on the bottom side. That'll give his claw you know, a little bit more action on the, on the standstill, you know. You'll be able to sit your crab there and not move the bastard and it'll still have action because them claws will be waving around attracting anything that swims fast. Well, good fishing guys, get into it.